really hungry. Let's go to Luger's already. You should come too. If I must.
It's time for an important mission. Are you sure you're okay with having company right now? I'll take the special. You don't know what it is yet. If it's the special, it's special. You're in a good mood, huh, Elle? Of course! Now we know how to get to the land of Canaan! By destroying other worlds? It is what it is, sorry. Is that supposed to make me feel better? Hey. So what? You agree with her? Well... Oh, Mom, okay! Is it spicy? Can't handle spicy food, huh, kid? Cook you depend on Spyrex. Mila, about what you said before. The land of Canaan is where the great spirit Origin is, right? And he purifies our souls and subjects them to reincarnation? Like I said, that's just what my sister told me. It has been nearly two millennia, but time grows short. Origin cannot continue purifying souls much longer. When the Spyrite Vault went haywire, it said something about soul contamination. Error, error, soul contamination spreading. Spyrite? Dude here is a Spyrite genius. If I can perfect Spyrite technology, we won't need Spyrex anymore. A world without Spyrex? Maybe our trouble with Spyrites is linked to the soul purification process. Even if it's not, if Kanan is so important that it will change the course of history, then it's somewhere I have to go. <laughs> Mila! You're coming with us, right? You and me and Jude and everybody. I'll tag along for a while. Long enough to confirm my world's fate, and not a moment more. Sorry, Luger. I guess they didn't like the special. Don't forget, you need me. Huh? You know, the key thingy. That special power of yours is neat and all, but it needs me around, doesn't it? I'm not trying to be mean, but it's worthless without me, right? You're right.
course I will. You're giving it back? Oh, I get it. It doesn't matter which one of us carries it, because we're a team now. Give me your pinky, okay? It's important. <laughs> Daddy told me a promise isn't really a promise unless your pinky swear on it. You gotta promise me we're going to the land of Canaan together. <laughs> okay. You better. Are such a hassle. Marketing plan section one. How to exploit the natural greed of Olympians during negotiations. Wait, you heard that? This is a highly classified document. Don't go leaking our strategies to anyone else now, you hear? A world with no schism. And when humans use Spyrex, spirits don't die. That's because Mila left us a whole bunch of mana. Of course, we still have plenty of problems. But it's a whole lot better than being at war. Are you sure about that? What guarantee do you have that this world will be better off than it was with the schism? Well... I'm surprised to hear that coming from Maxwell. Well, you shouldn't be. At least not from someone who never even considered this as a possibility. Uh, uh, Mila, there are no guarantees in this world or in any other world. That just means we have to work all the harder to ensure that things work out the way we hope. Do what must be done? That's what I've been taught. Well, isn't this world's Lord Maxwell just an inspiration to everyone? Well, aren't we in a good mood for no reason? Psst, wrong! I have plenty of reasons. So what are they then? Sorry, that's on a need-to-know basis. Isn't that right, Luger? What's going on? Did something happen? I promised her that I'd take her to Canaan. So in other words, you've agreed to destroy more worlds. Uh, uh, hey, don't get mad at him. We're doing all this together. No matter how hard the road is, we'll travel it together. You sound like you're making marital vows. And you sound like you're jealous. Huh? What do I have to be jealous about? <laughs> what are you laughing about? Ow! You two really are annoying. 
Tipo sure is made of strange material. What are you doing? It's soft to the touch, but what exactly is it? Don't look at that part! Hey, cut that out! Tipo has certain secrets he wants to protect. What kind of secrets? You know, various kinds. It wouldn't kill you to tell me some of them, you know. Listen, Mila, Tipo is shy about his body. The contents of half my body are highly classified. If it were to get out, we'd all be doomed. You don't really understand him yourself, do you? That's not true. If you're so nosy, then why don't you tell us all what you're made of? Me? I'm made of kindness and rainbows? Oh, come on. Nothing? Not even a smile? Now this is just embarrassing. Thanks for nothing. Huh. This trip has been totally devoid of any romance. Oh, -ho. Lady Elise has reached an age where she suddenly cares about such things. Shut up, Alvin. You don't need to join in. Go easy on him. Alvin has reached an age where he's suddenly desperate to fit in with us younger types. It's only natural when you get older. Yeah, totally. Hmm. Maybe they're right. What? I'm still young and spry. Luger, say something to the insolent women folk. Something. That joke's older than Rowan, you know. Maybe you're the one who's pushing middle age. Ah, oh, Rolo. Only you and I understand the pain of male adulthood. <laughs>